Just two days before Thanksgiving, Joe and Jill Biden were photographed holding hands as they departed Air Force One in Nantucket. Joe Biden and his wife, Jill Biden, will be spending Thanksgiving in Nantucket, and they arrive two days before the holiday on November 23. After a busy day in Washington, D.C., Joe and Jill boarded Air Force One, and touched down on the island off the coast of Massachusetts at nighttime. They both wore long coats and masks as they departed the plane, holding hands as they walked across the tarmac. The President and First Lady were joined by kids Hunter Biden and Ashley Biden, along with Hunter's wife, Melissa, and a bunch of their grandchildren. As they do every year, the Biden family will be spending Thanksgiving at David Rubenstein's private estate on the island of Nantucket. The president was criticized for spending the holiday at a billionaire's compound, but was defended by his press secretary in a public statement. This is a time to put politics aside, spend time with your loved ones and talk about what you're grateful for, she insisted. She also added that the president will have staff traveling with him so that he can work over the long weekend. The family is expected back in the White House on November 28. Related Gallery Jill Biden's Style, See the First Lady's Gorgeous Fashion in Photos Before heading to Nantucket, Joe and Jill joined Vice President Kamala Harris and her husband, Doug Imhoff, at the D.C. Central Kitchen, where they helped prepare Thanksgiving meals for those in need. The foursome stood alongside staff members of the nonprofit as they joined the assembly line. The Vice President scooped out string beans, while President Biden prepared turkey and Jill dealt with the squash casserole. Earlier this month, President Biden celebrated his 79th birthday. The president was showered with love from fellow politicians and celebrities. Wishing you a happy and joyous day, Kamala wrote on Instagram. Happy birthday! Barack Obama also weighed in, writing, Happy birthday to my friend and my brother. Thanks for giving Sue the gift of better infrastructure. Grateful for all you're doing to build this country back better.